Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're here, it's probably because you or someone you know is dealing with the notorious side effects of Ozempic, Wegovy, or Zepbound. Yes, I'm talking about those GI side effects. Nausea, constipation, and yes, even those lovely sulfur burps. I hear you. I'm a health and wellness coach, and I work with people just like you who are navigating these challenges. Today we're diving deep into practical real-life tips that can help you manage these symptoms so that you're not just enduring this journey, but thriving on it. These GLP-1 medications have great benefits, but they also come with some baggage. Let's start unpacking that together. First things first, let's talk dosing. Many people think they have to rush up to the full dose to see results, but the magic of these meds really works best if you go slow. Seriously. Increasing your dose more gradually can mean fewer and milder side effects. So, if you're starting out, consider going low and slow with dose increases. Trust me, it's worth it. Now on to food. I know Ozempic and similar meds often change how much and what you feel like eating. But did you know that how you eat can actually impact those side effects? Here's what I tell my clients. Eat smaller, more frequent meals, and try to avoid fatty, fried, and spicy foods, especially at the beginning. And for anyone struggling with nausea, Fizzy drinks and big meals are your worst enemies. Instead, reach for water, herbal teas, and focus on portion sizes. You're essentially training your stomach to work with you, not against you. All right, let's tackle the elephant in the room, constipation. Or maybe for some of you it's diarrhea. Either way, Ozempic can mess with your regularity. I recommend increasing fiber and water intake, but here's a pro tip. Go slow on the fiber to avoid extra bloating. And if constipation is a recurring problem, try adding a gentle stool softener or a small daily dose of Miralax to help keep things moving. Magnesium citrate is another option. And bonus, it may even help with any muscle cramps you might be experiencing. Now, if you're dealing with nausea or bloating, there are some over-the-counter options you can try. Gasex can help with that bloated feeling, and if nausea is a big issue, Zofrin, with your doctor's approval, can be a game-changer. Some people also swear by peppermint oil capsules, they help relax the digestive system and can reduce cramping. But remember, always check with your healthcare provider before adding anything new to your routine. Finally, remember that your body can and often will adjust over time. Studies and real-world experiences suggest that many side effects, especially the GI ones, can actually lessen after 6-8 to eight months on the medication. So don't give up too quickly. Give your body the time it needs to get used to this new rhythm. And here's a tip I've heard from many clients. Try taking your dose in the evening instead of the morning. This way you might sleep through some of those early effects, like nausea. Also, some people find success by spacing out their doses to every 10 to 14 days, rather than every week. You'll want to talk to your doctor before trying this, but it could be an option. Now if you've tried everything and still can't find relief, it's okay to consider other options. Some people find other GLP-1 meds like Trulicity or Moonjuro easier to tolerate. And hey, these meds work differently in everyone, so finding the one that best suits you is worth the effort. Remember guys, this journey is a marathon, not a sprint. You're making incredible steps toward a healthier you, and these side effects? They don't have to stop you. Take it one day at a time, try some of these strategies, and give your body the chance to adapt. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anyone else who might be navigating these side effects. We're in this together, and I'm here to help you make every step as comfortable as possible. Until next time, take care and keep pushing forward.